In qualifier number one for the Eaglefield Ford Dirt Car Modified. Set to rock and roll. First qualifier of the night. Rolling into turn three and four. They're on the hammer now. Coming down the front stretch.
up to 63 of Patrick Dupree. More on the inside, trying to move through off a of turn number four. They're wheel to wheel along the front stretch. At the line, Dupree still has the advantage. Rub Morin trying to work through one and two. Down the back stretch, Gage Morin goes to third. Dupree goes back to fourth. Out front, still Roger Labresh. But here comes the 24S of Jake Scarborough. Labresh working the high line. Scarborough goes up to the top side as well. And Morin moves through the inside. Gage Morin trying to get to the second position. Scarborough trying to hang on to it as they work off a of turn number two. Gage Morin goes to second. Here comes Mike Parati to fourth. Parati moves to the inside of Patrick Dupree. He'll grab the fourth spot away. Everybody's still chasing Roger Labresh. Gage Morin trying to use that lower line. Labresh continues to work the outside of the 100. Morin down low. Labresh up high off a of turn number two. Gage Morin is the new leader. The Cornwall, Ontario driver has the lead going to turn number three. Labresh back to second. Scarborough runs in third. Parati runs in fourth. Two laps to go along the front stretch. Gage Morin is the leader. Running in second is Roger Labresh. Third, the 24S. That is Scarborough. Here comes Parati through on the inside. Scarborough pushed up the racetrack, sliding up through turn number two. That opened up the inside line for Mike Parati, and he goes to third. White flag is out on the field for Gage Morin. Morin has two advantages. He is the second place point man. Roger Labresh in second. Mike Parati stalking for that second spot. Parati running in third. Here is your winner coming through turn number four along the front stretch. The checkered flag is out, and it's Gage Morin for the win. Second goes to Roger Labresh. Third to Mike Parati. Fourth is Jake Scarborough. Fifth is Patrick Dupree. Sixth is George Foley. Seventh is Matt Woodruff. And eighth on the outside, Zach Daniels in car 30. Back to row number three, Chris Kaye in the number 18. On the outside from Cornwall, Ontario, that is Gabriel Sear in the number 94. The fourth and final row in this first qualifier. Zach Daniels in car 30 on the inside of row two. Then it's Chris Kaye in the 18. The 38 for Joey Scarborough. Then it's the 29 for Nick Haywood. Gabriel Sear in the 94 and the 69 C. Of Corey McCoy, eight machine set to run.
Johnny Rivers shows the way with the R7 with two laps to go. Rivers with a comfortable lead. Nick Haywood continues to run second. Third, Gabriel Sear. Fourth is Joey Scarborough. A gap back to the 18 of Chris Kaye. Then it's Zach Daniels, Corey McCoy, and Jason McClatchy racing for position at the back of the pack. White flag is out. One lap to go for Monty Rivers. Rivers is the fifth place point man. He has finished in the top five three times this year in eight starts. He is going to win the second qualifier for the Fidelis Care Sportsman. Here he comes off of turn number four along the front stretch. Checkered flag is out. Monty Rivers gets the win. Finishing in second, Nick Haywood. Third is Gabriel Sear. Fourth goes to Joey Scarborough. Fifth goes to Chris Kay in the 18. Zach Daniels, sixth in car third. The after hours imaging number 20, the racing professor from Plattsburgh, Buck O'Branham, he'll start sixth with the number 20. Seventh on the grid in the number 35, Speedy Glass sponsorship for Thomas. Starting chunk out of the field, there is the 06 for Mike Coffey Jr. Mangino Chevrolet from Boston Spa. Field works through turns one and two. Rico Hernandez of the two is the race leader. Working on the outside, here comes Jack Spishock towards the front. He'll work three wide for the third spot, right up against the wall. of late. And then the 20 for Plattsburgh's Buck O'Branham. Field set to run again. Second qualifier for the Fidel's Care Sportsman. Green flag. Back out. Spishak on the outside of the front row. He'll take it right up towards the wall. Working the rim through one and two. Spishak gets a good run. As they power off a turn number two. Rico Hernandez on the inside. He is in that second spot. Spishak will try to finish the pass through three and four. Billy Cook runs in third. Cody Aubin runs in fourth on the inside. A lock jam from that third Pause. 
out. One lap to go for Adam Gage. Can he hold off the point leader, Connor Cleveland? Jordan Jingler driver trying to find room and muscle his way through on the inside. They work down the backstretch. Well, Fountain in the 20X was off the pace. Down the backstretch into turn number three. Cleveland takes the lead going to turn three. They work off a of turn number four down the front stretch. Checkered flag is out. The win goes to the 09 of Connor Cleveland. Adam Gage finishes second. Jamie Beagle third. Moise Pache is fourth. Fifth to Danny Sullivan. Sixth to the 44 of Tyler Terry. Jamie LaFountain seventh. And eighth will be the 45. In the 22, that is Matt Larrabee. He is from Forest Fork. And the number four machine, Tim Hegarty from Kingston, Ontario. And Chris K. second position as they both chase Tyler Reynolds in the number 81.
hammered just about every pitch right out of the park so far in the Renegade division. Mark Karen sliding off of two. Jarvis goes past. He is up to third. Kayla Grave in car 79 is the leader. Here comes Michael Wright. Michael Wright had trouble at the drop of the green flag. He's the leader. Albert Vermont, Michael Wright shows the way. 79 and Jay Lagrave is second. Yeah. 
Those are the five cars that are still out on the track. You want me to tag back in? Ready to go again. Here's Robbie. All right. Labounty. Clark. New front row. Here they come. Front stretch. Green flag. Good start on top for Clark in the number 14. You just watch that car. It's really smooth. Watch the power off of the turn number two. Labounty holding strong in that second spot. Whalen in the number 11. He's going to try and tip toe. By Scott Richner this week, it's Jay Sprano in the number 31. Yeah. 
Remy, Quebec driver, and Atkins from Au Sable Forks, set to roll through turn number four. Here they come along the front stretch. Three, flag is out. Working down low, Atkins through the middle. Here comes the 24 S of Scarborough trying to move. Mike Parati trying to move to the inside of 19 of Jesse Mueller. Mueller on the outside, flies through three and four. Fast line for Mueller as he's on the outside. Parati working down low. Outside Mueller continues to run the rim of the 19. He's going to suffer. 
as we have a first time winner in 2017 pulling into victory lane. I know you'll give him a big airborne round of applause. Climbing out of his car now. How about a nice round of applause for Roger Labrèche out of Saint Remy, Quebec? Good race, man. I'm too big. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here is Roger Labrèche. Roger, right here, so we can get you on camera. Well, I know things have really been tough, the transfer from asphalt to dirt this season. It's really been a work in progress. I know you and your dad have been working really hard. You get the win tonight. The car was perfect out in front. You were the fastest car on the racetrack for the first 15 laps, able to hang on. You built a big lead. Talk about how nice it was to finally figure things out here on the dirt. Oh, is it is going to be a change, eh? Asphalt and the dirt is uh, is my first. I got 22 lap and the dirt, and uh, you know, and you got the rookie man. You know, man, tonight uh, the car is very fast, and uh, the car is good. You know, tonight is my night. That's it. Well, I know you guys have really been working hard, and I know it feels really good, and you'll have fun celebrating this one. The celebration on top of the roof says a lot. Yeah, I'm very happy, and uh, thank you and my dad, and uh, the, my team, and uh, the, the crew, the, 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 my so, uh, 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 the 29 sportsmen, they helped me uh, tonight and tire, and uh, you know, it's good. It's very good. Win number one of 2017, Felicitations. Congratulations. Merci beaucoup. That's Roger Labrèche. Our friends with FedEx are here to present him with the first place trophy. A nice job. Stanley, John Stanley. 71E of Rob Casti in row two. Then it is the four of Tim Hegarty.
comfortably in the third position. White flag out this time. One lap to go. He will get a word with our winner tonight. Paul, step over here so we can get you on camera. Sure. Paul, talk a little bit about this race car this evening. Uh, this is certainly something that people don't see every week. Talk a little bit about it. No, it's uh, it's an 06 TO with a 70s Gremlin body on it. And uh, the vintage club's up our way. This is sort of what we're running because you just cannot find the old cars anymore. And uh, some of the other speedways that you might uh, venture to throughout the season, other places that you run with this group? Uh, I think their next show is at Paradise. They were at Can-Am last week, and uh, they have a show at Mohawk Raceway as well down our way. And I know one thing that a lot of people are probably wondering, how difficult is it to, to wheel one of these things? They're not that bad. No. Uh, there's no inner tin, so there's not a lot of downforce, and we are on coilovers, so compared to a dirt mod, a current dirt mod, a little trickier, but the speeds are down, so it all works out. Paul, nice job on your victory tonight. Thank you. That's uh, Paul Heckenden. He picks up the victory tonight. Now in the next flag. Vigor and Rivers. Slow through three. Now on the hammer in a turn number four. They come along the front stretch. Green flag.
Unbuckling now. He's about to climb out of his car. He removes the steering wheel. Climbing out now, give him a big round of applause. It's his first win of 2017. Here he is, everybody. It's Lonnie Rivers with the R7. All right, here's Lonnie Rivers. Come on over, Lonnie, right here. That way we get you on camera. Lonnie, a first place finish in this one. I want you to take me through maybe the last seven or so laps of this race. Lap traffic became very heavy. You tiptoed through it. Talk about the last seven laps or so, tiptoeing through the traffic. Yes, sir. Uh, we came onto the traffic, and I noticed that the cars are in the top and the bottom, so I just kind of watched and seen who was, you know, progressing further ahead, and um, the track was very slippery, very, very slippery tonight. A lot of pedaling, a lot of backpedaling, um, steering back and forth, but, uh, you know, we made a lot of good decisions, and my Crew Chief uh, Leon Hendry, last minute, they, they were yelling at us to get up there, and he ch changes the tire. He <laughs> thought he over-tightened too much, but uh, he made a good choice. The car the car was great. I couldn't ask for a better car. And, and one thing we have to talk about also, we did an interview a little bit earlier that went on Facebook. You said you liked your chances tonight. You said you knew you'd have a car to win. You're here. Good prediction, eh? Yes, sir. Oh, it, it was, it's great. It's great to be here. Uh, first victory ever on dirt. I'm really happy. Uh, thanks to all my crew. You know, I got Leon Hendry, Johnny Bradley, uh, Bob Fuller. There's, uh, oh my God, there's so many to thank. Kyle LeGrave, uh, Tony Baldwin, uh, Steve Pine. He's, he's behind the pictures, but Steve does a lot of my, my motor work. He just changed the valve springs for us this week, and the motor seemed like it was pulling up great. He did a great job on that. Um, Eric and Sherry, they're my sponsors, the Fry Offers. Um, I want to thank them. They helped me out a lot. Even, even as the season goes on, they helped me out a lot. Um, I got um, Thomas English Muffin, that's Paul Briette and his wife Joan. They're a sponsor in the car. They helped me out too. Um, and myself, Adirondack Siding. If anybody needs any siding work done, that's what I do. Um, and I want to just dedicate this race also to my uh, girlfriend. She's in Poland. She's in the Army deployed right now. And, uh, you know, her birthday was the 26th, so I want to dedicate this race to her. And I got a, I got a Coca-Cola bottle here her brother bought for her. It says Sergeant Carrie Ann Baldwin on it. So I just want to crack that open for her and show her that maybe I can't crack it open. <laughs> I can't crack it open. Never mind. It's one of them pop tops, I think. There we go. Regardless, win number one, Lonnie. Congratulations. You enjoy it. Thank you very much. Thank you. That's Lonnie Rivers. Casella is with us in Victory Lane to present Lonnie with his first place trophy. We'll talk with Jamie Bigor. Jamie, well, it's been... Everybody knows Jean-Paul Cabana. <laughs> I like it. Uh, so that was uh, Jean-Paul Cabana, and, uh, unfortunately not able to be with us. Bruce, thank you very much. A nice job tonight. And thank you for the invite. All right. Warriors Street Valley Renegade Division. Here they come off of turn number four. Looking for a new winner in the division.
pulling away. I know there's not much shocking about that statement as they're halfway home. And he is on his way to his eighth win of 2017, barring a yellow flag. The race is under his control. Excavation, Lund Landscape 78 is second, climbing out of his car. The Bears Deli Convenience Store. Ducks Auto Parts number 11 for Moore's Forks Drivers car shortly. Eight wins in eight starts for Brent Jarvis. Climbing out now, Robbie is set to talk to our winner. All right, give Brent Jarvis a nice round of applause. He's out of his number 32. Come on around, Brent. Take a couple steps that way. Good there. Brent, last week you admitted the car probably wasn't the best. Tonight it certainly was. Talk about maybe some of the changes you had to make to the 32. Uh, the surface was far more slick this week than it has been in weeks prior. Uh, I, I just feel great after last week. I was kind of dejected. I feel like I lost a lot last week. I put a lot of new ideas in the car. Some of them worked, some of them didn't. Um, ultimately, the track just came to me. When this, when this, car, when this track goes um, dry slick, the car comes alive, I still have a lot to be desired when the track's wet, but I'm gonna work on that. Um, you know, I'd just like to take a moment just to thank everyone who helps me out. You know, all my family, my mom and dad, um, the Kil Kilburn family, Caleb, he's helped me out a lot. And also my sponsors, I haven't really announced them too much this year, but I'd like to thank Proof Farm Center, Taylor Randall, Florence Orchard, Chauvin Agency, and everybody else that helps me out, I really appreciate it. Eight for eight, Brent, nice job. Thank you. Our friends from FedEx are here to present you with the first place trophy as well. Brent Jarvis picks up the victory this evening. Second place for qualifier. And they will not be able to make the feature event tonight. Six car feature, and here with the call is Robbie. All right, ready for a start. Here they come. Roger LeBounty, Mike Whalen, off of turn number four. Down to the line. Green flag is out. Good start up on top for Mike Whalen in the 11. He'll show the way. Now it is Rob Clark in the 14. He'll get to position number two. Top side comes alive. As here comes Laporte, 45B. Josh Laporte, 45B, up on top.
up. He just kept gaining and increasing his advantage. As he picks up the checkered flag for the fourth time. Michael Whalen finishes in the second spot. Roger LaBounty third. Josh Laporte was fourth. And Dave Demore finishes in position number five with his 86 car. And here comes a four-time winner from Keysville, Chris Clark, coming back into victory lane. With 14 New York, Robbie will get a word with our win number four of 2017 for Chris. Here he is now out of the race car. Nice round of applause for Chris Clark. Come on around, Chris. Chris, come right around here so we can see on camera. Well, racetrack, uh, a little slick tonight. Talk about the race car, how it handled. Seemed as though you had a real good drive down the back stretch off of that second turn. Yeah, it pulls pretty good. The track's a, it's bumpy, but it's really tacky. It actually get hooks up pretty good and uh, you get to the throttle a lot sooner and keep pushing harder and harder, trying to see where the max is. And, you know, it's a good time. I'm having a blast doing this stuff. I really am. Uh, glad to be here having friends, you know, all my friends are racing with me. We're having a good time. Four for five on the season, four wins and five tries. Nice job this year. Thank you. That's Chris Clark, fourth win of 2017. Casella is with us in Victor. Been a long day. Yes, yeah, you, this you day started, started a hike home from the Bronx. 7 a.m. out just outside of New York City. All right, flag is out. And uh, Sean Walker, is he thinking three wide? Yep. Roland Gay's up on top of the five. Roland Gay, he, look at this, on top of the right. Three wide for the lead. Walker, they're parting that 13 of Nathan Smart left and right. That should have been your pick, 77. Well, I, I, I didn't want to pick Sean Walker. Gay in the five, here he comes down the front stretch. I, see, I think Nathan's smart. He's got to give that car six laps to come to life. Out front, it is rock and roll. You know what he said earlier? He said, I'm going to have some words for you tonight in victory lane. So I'm assuming he meant that he plans on winning this evening. Oh. Maybe he was going to tell you about his favorite high school teacher. Yes, I heard he really likes Mr. Boring. <laughs> he never had Mr. Boring. Oh. Maybe Mr. Sullivan or Mr. Gray. Mr. Sullivan could be it. Well, it is Roland Gay that shows the way out in front. 31's getting in the mix. Jay Sprano. Yeah, that car's First going, time out. That car's going much faster this week than it was last week. You think so? When Richter was in it. Oh, absolutely. Richter. I mean, that car was a turd last week for Richter. break two weeks ago and of course his car has been really good in this division he's been right near the front of the points still tied for the point lead coming into this race but when you're saying this car is not quite as now clearly not up to what he had not quite there well he's uh give him credit he's still out there trying absolutely to play. not going to give up a little engine that could we have seen attrition in this division that has led to two cars finishing the race. Yes. That is true. And uh, at least more than uh, a couple of occasions where that 77 of Sean Walker finished second in the two-car race. Now, it, it appears as though that 77 is trailing something off the back bumper. Let's take a look this time around on the front stretch. We're halfway. And, and let's see what might be trailing off the back side of that 77. I think it's an advertisement for Geico. That could be. Perhaps he's got the spike strip, the, a, a Dick Dastardly type move. Mm -hmm. A spike strip off the back, but see if you can flatten a tire on the 31. If he keeps letting cars go around him, then that's going to be ineffective. Yep. something <laughs> could surprise me and was the duct tape not properly fastened it's still there the report from chief starter jason lemoy is it looks like a piece 
piece of tape. Ah, and according according to our promoter that is in the infield, he said if he knows his brother, it was probably a piece of tape holding the exhaust off. <laughs> soon. He's a cross-country runner. Oh, that's right. So he likes to race cars and with the old Tento Express. Two laps to go for Roland Gay. Daniels is a lap down at 95D. Is Roland making a sandwich in the car right now? <laughs> he doesn't want to push it. He's taking it easy. He's taking it all in. Waving to the crowd in turn four. Oh, there's nobody left in the stands in turn four for him to wave to. He runs faster in cross country. Well, he's making his way in your direction now. Win number two of 2017. Come on over, Roland. Come on over right here. Right over here on this side. We'll get you on camera. Well, you told me earlier that you were going to come talk to me in victory lane. Here you are. Talk about the race car. Pretty good right off the start. Uh, it's, it's steered better than it has all year, and I've gotten a little bit better behind the wheel and gotten a little bit more experience now, so... Um, it, it helps. I know you were pretty critical of your crew chief a little bit earlier. He must have done a good job tonight. Yeah, he did all right. <laughs> um, I'd like to thank all my sponsors. I'd like to thank Bigor Supply, JR Taxidermy, Dragoons Farm Equipment, Champlain Peterbilt, a a Auto, Banker's Ice Cream, and David Kerr's Dairy Supply. And I'd like also like to thank uh, our track sponsors tonight, Casella's. Nice job on win number two. Thank you. That's Roland Gay, win number two of 2017. Jace Breno was second and a third place finish. For